Hello, I'm Scott, the breathing guy. I will train you to locate, generate, activate core key energy and physical activity. This is Driver Swing Mechanic with key power, stage four, how to stop the, uh, go up to the finish, how to stop your call, uh, golf club and how to reach the finish. It's very critical to understand how do you finish your swing after you hit the ball because you have to stop the kinetic energy. Imagine a club going 100 miles an hour or 80 miles or whatever and you have to stop it within less than a second. The internal force of moving your body in a rotational way to do that is a lot on the body. If you want to get the most speed out of your swing you have to have confidence that you can stop without hurting yourself at all. Otherwise intuitively you will slow down before you even hit the ball. So just to regress a little bit on some things that I advocate on the right elbow. We'll talk about the right elbow real quick because it comes an intricate part of the crossover involved. There are three ways for the right elbow to be uh, in your golf swing people. So be careful which one you pick. The first way a lot of people do, I just was talking to someone just recently, when they bring the driver down, their elbows to here. If your elbow's here, the natural tendency is, if you don't move that elbow across your body, is for the face to close. So if your ball is going to the left, there's a high probability that your right, uh, the right elbow is either not coming across your body, that's one aspect of it. The second character to achieve the same goal is for the people, you see pros this, I call it the floating elbow. The elbow floats. And the whole idea of coming down here, if you like this. Now the problem with this is, if that elbow goes out just so the face closes, you can see, if my elbow goes out, my face closes. So if you hit the ball like that, if my elbow comes under just a little like this, so you lean your shoulders just a hair, the elbow comes under, it opens up. So you're gonna to go to the right. The elbow really affects your ability. If it moves, it's not repeatable. The, same, the elbow has to be in the same position if you want predictability. Then you got the hand snap and all that, but they just up to the hands. Remember, I broke down the swing, lower body, upper body, and the hand snap. And what you want to do in the upper body coming down, you got to have an open stance to do it. You want to bring the club here, to here. So when your, hand tur your hips turn into it, your club face, and then your elbow can re-shoot off and turn up and around and your hands cross over and up and around. That's the beauty of it. When you're coming down, your hip is coming into the ball, then your hip uh, elbow can just leave that area and go up and around. So remember, you got three positions for the elbow, you know, and each one will affect, and if you want predictability, you gotta find that pocket. Create that pocket, and you do that with the foot. But now, let's go to the crossover, the fourth stage of this whole driver swing mechanics with key energy. Now, after you come down, clear here, your goal in the crossover is to uh, come over here. To do this, you have to squeeze both little fingers together. When you, after you hit the ball, squeeze both little fingers together, like playing an instrument, it's really hard. That'll permit you to cross over, but then, how do you come up to your finish? And what you want to do is squeeze the middle finger tip. Squeeze the middle finger tip up. That's what you want to do. Squeeze the middle finger up. The more you squeeze, you can test this. I just don't want you to do this. And you have to do this slow. The number one rule in every stage, you have to execute slow no shoulders, and you have to learn to feel it from the feet up. So it can, can become repeatable. That's the key thing. You want to make it repeatable. The driver's swing is 100% physical. So creating your swing mechanics for the driver's swing is 100% repeatable. You do the same motion. Finding the most optimistic or the most dynamic swing mechanics is your challenge. Understanding the basic characteristics of the swing that comes into play in the mechanics itself, like with the right elbow I showed you. How to create the hand step is another game, but that goes into finger ergonomics. Each fingertip has its own character. So you squeeze here a little bit and then pull. And the more you squeeze the middle finger, 
And then if you want to really start squeeze the thumb, that tightens the bicep. That stops you. That stops you. You can test it. You literally like an instrument. You release the little finger, all the finger, and squeeze the middle finger tight, the fingertip into it tight, tight and your arm becomes harder and harder. Remember, the little finger works the tricep, the middle finger and thumb works the bicep. And what do, you, what do you want to do when you're swing out here? You want to pull it around and you want to stop it. Use your fingers. It will help. It will give you strength. You're appealing to your chest, your, uh, your, your muscles. Why? Because it's coming around. Two, by doing this, it prevents, promotes the farthest rotation of the shoulder and hip separation. It gives you shoulder and hip uh, separation so much better that way. So the whole idea of also the, if you want to say the fourth stage, is creating the separation between your hip and shoulder so you get the greatest rotation force, so you get the greatest length of arc. The other key part for doing this as an exercise, when you come up for here, stay there. Stay there for, uh, and breathe. Now, let's go to feet. How to do this. Stop. As soon as you get here, you hit the ball, the foot, of the big toe is up a little bit, but as soon as you start coming up, pull that big toe really up, and as you pull the big toe up and you pull back a little bit, it go, your weight shifts from the front to the back, one, and your left leg comes straight. The other key part is the heel of the back foot goes straight up. That way turns the foot together like this. So, and you want to squeeze your legs a little bit. That makes the lower body firm so you can stop the upper rotation of the shoulders and the hands. That makes it the whole body. Plus, you have no arch in your lower back. So, you, everything stops. So, as you're turning, if you do this, and now you exhale. Watch. This is an exercise. Inhale, tight. Get to right here. Pull in. Squeeze the glutes together. Bring your knees together and hold it for a count of ten. That's taunt. And then release. Then come soft. Doing that uh, maybe 50 to 100 times is really great on that. So, the idea of that when you get up here, stay in the position, you're creating that. Soften your body. Use your breath. Inhale. Pause. Blow out your mouth. Soften the shoulders. Soften your face, the whole body. Soften your hands. Make your hands start. After five or six times in the beginning, so you get that sensation, then use it to drop. Bend your knee. Bend your, calm down. This is patience. Yeah. And then inhale after 10, whatever, in the beginning. And when you're going to move, to bring the club down. Do it with an exhale. Slowly, slowly. Drop shoulders. Feel. The more I can get you to feel, bring the club. Soften body. Shape, reshape your body if you need to. So because this is how you want it when you get done. Pause it halfway. When you get it up here, after you hit a ball, just as a pure... Don't move your club. Stay there. Stay in that position till that ball hits the ground, rolls. Do not make a, uh, make a judgment call. Wherever it lands is wherever it lands. It doesn't matter. But appreciate being up in that position so your muscles, your mild fascia can be in that form. So you keep the range of motion. Create that arc. from Because the, the swing is basically one part of the swing is from the top of your back swing and the arc all the way through to the top of your... Uh, finish and how you, where do you want to finish it you want to finish it here don't you want to finish up around and if you can make your hands ready squeeze the bicep loosen the tricep you can make the club go all around and as old as I am that is possible even for you but the things I've had to do to get that type of range and figure it out no is not easy being an old an old person <laughs> so always remember fingers playing Pull, when you want to pull, uh, stop, squeeze the bicep, make sure your heel straight up, that's the point, and feel the tendon. This is where you're going to have to really, and pull your belly button in, pull your, uh, with an exhale, fast, and then pause, squeeze, and squeeze the bicep, and your shoulders don't have to come up. What people make the mistake is, they try to stop their swing, finish with their shoulders up. They use their shoulders to stop the club head. That will limit you. That will hurt you. That uh, makes uh, the golf swing do does not feel good. It doesn't feel connected. 
You want to make it a really pleasant state, a fluid state. Having a great fluid swing is why people play golf. When you have that one swing, everything flows. It feels so natural. You want to make it natural, so you have to make it effortless. The goal of these techniques is to use the minimum amount of force and contrast it from each point and don't have contradictions between one set of between the hard and soft. So when you're coming up here, what's had, what was bringing you through here is the right side. But as soon as you want to do a crawl, uh, you want to say to go to finish, slow the club head down, you got to go to the left side. So as you squeeze, your whole left shoulder side, over here, leg here, all tightens up to stop the club head. The kinetic force. Otherwise, if you don't do this, you're going to use your shoulders. You got two choices. The core area or the shoulders. The shoulders will hurt you. The core might be a little strenuous, but it will always be more healthy. It will tone your muscles. You can use your use it better over time. So this is driver swing mechanics. This is part four how to finish and then how to bring the club down after the finish using the core breath, setting up the feet. It's all about that uh, right heel and then the left toe, tightening the left side with the core being pulled in for your lower body action and then using the hands so you don't use the shoulders. That is the sequential events. You train yourself for this swing mechanics that you will do every time. It takes time, slow, and patient to realize. You have to realize, oh, this feels better than the other way you're doing it. If it doesn't feel better the, uh, than the other way you used to do it, why do it? So, this is five four, and take it slow. Even I mean, when I say slow, I mean even in the crosser coming up around to point. Let your shoulders drop down. Let you feel. Let the separation out. Bring your toe up. Feel it and stay. That'll work your legs. And learning to be up on your side of your foot like that with the big toe pulled. Whole big toe. That works the psoas muscle. Pulling the toe really up with the exhale coming in. It's all you need and it'll automatically to make the side firm for stopping the club rotation. Get the sensation and you get to... This is part one. I will produce another one to go in more details so we can go actually go slower and more minute.